My topic here is say, transform through your thinking. Transform through your thinking. Transformation through thinking. Do not conform to this world. Paul was talking to the born again Christians. He's not talking to unbelievers. He's not talking to unbelievers. He was talking to the Christians. People who are spirit filled, who are in the house of God. He said, meaning the worldly system that governs this earth. He said, do not transform. The law and the worldly constitutions are governed by the earth. He said, do not fit into this world. Our God system is different from the worldly system. The word conform means do not fit in. Do not fit in the lifestyle of this world. Do not fit in. You know, we have two kingdoms. We have the kingdom of the devil, we have the kingdom of God. And sometimes people believe that the kingdom is in heaven. No, the kingdom is on earth. The two kingdoms are on earth. When you give your life to Christ, you're born again, you are moving from another kingdom and moving to this kingdom. And the world system is the Satan governed them. Godly system are governed by God. And that is why people go to church, they pray, they fast, they do all sorts of things. Nothing happened to them because already you're already in the world. But you are sitting in the church in the name of the Christianity. Christianity is not by coming to church. Christianity is by spirit. For you to be transformed, they must see the behavior of God in you. And born again Christian means I am transformed from darkness to light. I am transformed. The law and worldly constitution are governed by the earth. He said, do not fit into the system. Because the system of the world will destroy you. The system of this world, that is why you, every day, everywhere you go, you see people, wickedness, death, crisis, destruction is happening. He said, God, is not God watching. God is watching over his children. He does not watch over the world. So in the system of this world, God has handed the, the, the authority to men. So God just sit down watching men. The earth is losing their hands. Sometimes you see... What happened to the earth? You believe that the, what is happening to the earth is the devil. No. The authority, the key of this world is in the man. Man are using the earth to do whatever they like. They are taking the authority of God, beginning to bring destruction, killing, finishing people's life. And God is watching them because it's not in the hand of God anymore. The earth is in the hand of men. That is what God said do not fit in. The way they are doing things in this world, because already something will happen. Don't act according to the worldly system. Our heart behaviors express internal and external transformation. Don't accommodate the tradition of your family. Don't obey the standard patterns of your bloodline. If you want God to bless you, don't tra transform through thinking. That's my topic. Transform through your bloodline. You know, when we talk about tradition, tradition is not God's system. Tradition is the system of this world. God told Abraham, come out for your father's, come out for your kindred, um, come out for your country to the place I will show you. It doesn't mean come out physically. It means uh, come out for your mindset. Come out for the pattern of thinking of your family. If you won't go to transform you. Because already if you don't come out, you will not know the perfect will of God for you. All the choice you're going to take is going to be a wrong choice. That is why people today made the wrong choice of marriage today. Because already when you conform, you're in darkness. The people of this world are in darkness. They can't see. They are walking by sight. And what is sight? Sight is only meant for looking. Praise the Lord somebody. What I, what I call sight? Just like, look, look at me. Look at me. This guy is looking at me. As you, you look at me. Sit down. You are looking at me. That's the only, that's the only sight. That's sight. Nothing more. You know what you call it Sight. He's looking at me, but the mind is not here. Just like this boy now, he's staying here looking at me, but the mind there for what you want to want to do, whatever they're going on, that kept him there. Because you think through your mind. You imagine things through your mind. You experience things through your mind. You, 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 you get authority and uh, victory through your mind. You, 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 you repackage, you rebrand yourself through your mind. So the mind is the issue of life. But now, you are looking. That is why the system of the black people are going down now because they put everything in the site. Whatever they see air doing, they will do it. If air is selling pure water, they start selling because they see it. They have the site. 
If one is traveling abroad, if not the will of God, they are traveling abroad because it's a sight. If one is having a girlfriend, you want to have your own girlfriend, it's a sight because friends are doing it. But the mind is not there because the mind comes from transformation. To know the will of God pattern your life, to know the purpose of God, the assignment, where you're here on earth. Let me show you our confirmation now. Let me use another one. Let me use an example. You want to open a shop. You move into an environment. To people of this world, as far as the money is in their hands, they will go and pay for a shop and start up a business. If you're a Christian, before you open a physical shop, you open a spiritual shop. By a spiritual warfare. You go to the area to declare spiritual warfare, to open the shop in the spirit. Because I want to let you know, every territory is governed by a power. And for you to open a shop in such area, they want you to appease them. They want you to sacrifice to them before they allow you to land. Because that's the law governing the environmental powers where you are staying. So, my brother, because money is in your hands, you want to go and open a shop without taking the shop from the spiritual world. Open a church without taking the church from the spiritual realm. Go and marry without taking the marriage in the spiritual realm. They will use less the person. Because you're doing things the way the world are doing it. For the fact that the money is in your hands, become authority. Do not conform. Because already there's an environment, there's a place where you go, there's a written law on the family. Just like confirmation now, let me tell you something. The laws in your family, spiritual laws of your family, are constituted and written between Satan and your family, fathers. Your father was a part of those that written that laws. But they written those laws by flesh. And they don't op- operate it by spirit. So they know they will not fulfill the law. And that law is killing your family. That is why, example now, if you know that the pattern of a family about money you put, uh, you put your bloodline who run the steal from a bloodline. That's a stealing your bloodline. What do you do? You employ in office. I said, I want to make you a counter. He will tell you, no, sir, change the department for me. Because already this is what is killing us in our family. Change the department. Or now women is killing you people in your family. If you become a MD, if you become a director, don't make a woman your secretary because she will die. Don't make a woman your PA because that is the Pattern of a family. That's what the family is going down. You must know how you transform. But in your mind, you don't do things on unbelievers and come to God and bring it to God and expect God to answer your fasting and prayer. It can never work. The system there, that is why the prayers you are praying is not connecting because God don't understand what you're doing. Because the prescription on the kingdom of God is different from the prescription of the world. The world must see it. They are getting girlfriend, you want to get girlfriend. They are getting boyfriend, you want to get girlfriend. You know that's a territory you enter. If you date their daughters, you don't marry to them, you die. It's a given loss. Ask people on Sulere. You can't come to Sulere. If you don't sacrifice in Sulere, you cannot land. You must go to, go, you must take it to a spiritual warfare for spiritual warfare. There must be a battle between you and you. That is why when you come to Satan, he says, I bind you and I bind you. You know the level of authority you have. You know the language you speak that will make Satan to move. But you know you are coming up and praying like unbelievers. You don't pray with the word of God. So how do you command Satan? Because you already, you are a flesh like him. Your life is like him. And that is why I found out that what you are doing today have already killed people in your family. And you are still living the same pattern. So what is the reason of your prayer? What's the reading of singing? What's the reading of fasting? What's the reading of praying? Because some family, if they are conformed, they don't know what they call of. They never had a relationship before because the, the gods of the land in that family never allowed them to have a relationship. So in such same person, you, you move into there to make that choice. God, was not, you're not living by the spirit. You're living by the things of this world, by what you see in your eyes. Just one. Don't obey standard patterns of your bloodline. The Lord said, change your family behavior. And what family do you belong to? Ask yourself. If you want to be a Christian, what the family do you belong to? Are you belong to a physical family or you belong to a spiritual family? Because if you belong to the family of God, that's the way they behave. That's the way they think. 
They are led by the Spirit. God governed them. Satan has his own kingdom. He only put on the earth of this world. Because when he came down for heaven, he put everything in order and make it look like what he was looking for and what he was thinking about. And Bible says he fattened this earth to the system that will make it to rule. And Bible told us that God came down for heaven and God was hovering on the earth. What did, why did God come down? God came down to hand over the earth to man. After God defeated Satan and put the earth together with them, he handed over the authority to man. And Satan knew that the earth, he has lost the earth. And I said, okay, I want to rule. Because Satan doesn't want to co-own this earth with you. Satan doesn't want to co-own and possession this earth with you. He, because if a man knows how much Satan hates you, man will not go and make covenant with Satan. Because what brought the downfall of Satan today is because of man. The reason why Satan fell today, because man came in authority as a child, as a son, that he was a servant. <clears throat> so he now fought What did he do? God handed over authority to Adam. Satan came and says, he fought on his own lifestyle with the, his own principle. I hand over to a man. Man look at it as a tradition. And able to take the authority from the man. And now become the puppet. The puppet. If you, if you conform to this system of the world, and Satan conform you to witchcraft, marine, or court, he use it as a vehicle, vehicle to achieve everything you want. You use your tire as a Satan. You use it as a puppet. Pup, pup, <laughs> you can never recover again. That is why man should know his place and authority where God has put you. You are under a dominion and authority. So there's a place where you are under the dominion authority of the kingdom of God because the kingdom has already handed over to you. There's nothing God can do anymore. That is why today Satan is ruling over you because you don't understand the standard that God has placed you. When man loses his authority, he becomes a slave. There are many slaves everywhere. Slave in the marriage, slave where you walk, slave in the environment. He now become a beggar because he has conformed. He doesn't understand. It's local. It's not spiritual. It's a carnal man. He doesn't understand the things of the spirit. He said, Come out from your father's house, come out from your country, out of your people. God did not want Abraham to see himself like where he's coming from. Like a life of a village. He said, no, Abraham, you are not from that village. I, I created you and I formed you in that family. And this is why I formed you in that family, for example, because through you, light, light will travel for many generations. The reason why God allows some things to happen to you in life, you know, because God knows see what is going on in your life. God sees what is going on. But that's a purpose. Everything in life is fattened to the purpose of God. A man that conform life now, what is killing you is what you use your hand to form by yourself. Somebody can form his life all the went and signed a contract with marriage spirit, went to sign a contract with witchcraft, went to sign by relationship, by past relationship, and feel like he has moved on. That's why when you broke off from someone, they say, I move on. Where do you move? You are still in the circle. Because you are still in the territory and governed by the devil. Because when you fought him and came into the system of the Satan, you are already under his authority. So the authority of God will be seized from you. And you will no longer function in the, in the originality. That is why I found out that a lot of people today have lost their place in life. They don't understand the system. They don't understand where God wants them to be. They are jack of all trade, they are master of none because they don't know who they are. They don't know the reason why they came to Sulele. They don't know the reason why they are being in Nigeria. They don't know the reason why they are in London. They don't know the reason why they are in Canada. They thought they are behaving like others. They are walking the constitution of Canada. But they don't know the reason why God brought them. I wish of all, above all things. Prosper, being good health, as you are so prosperous. Your soul is not prospering because you have no word. Your soul is not prospering because you don't know the will and perfect will of God in your life. Your soul is not prospering because you are making a wrong choice in your life. Your soul is not prospering because environmental patterns have already overwhelmed you. Your soul is not prospering because already you are leg, one leg is in the church and one leg is outside. You don't even know where you belong. That's why your soul is not prospering. God is a jealous God. God wants everything that connected to him to become him, his. 
He does not share with anybody. He's a jealous God. I'm not talking to somebody. Else. God is a jealous God. Can I tell somebody? Else? He wants to move you to the higher dimension in life. Marriage is not today blessing the marriage. Marriage is the rest of your life. How do you fatten your life for you to live the rest of your life in love? Not in love for one day. The, the, the marriage that God created in life have been taken away. The ones we are doing now is fashion marriage. Cosmetics marriage. Ceremonies that invite other thousands of people and everybody knows you're married. But after tomorrow, everybody, marriage will dissolve. Do not confirm. Do not confirm. Many people want to want to experience that for wedding, but no marriage. Although you live in the world, village of your father's house, you born again, but don't live like the standard of your ancestors. The standard of your tradition is below our standard. Don't copy the world's standard because it's below our godly standard. God did not say, don't be in touch with your family. He did not say that. But what God was putting is a decision between Abraham and the village people where he come from. If I tell you, come out of your country, come out of your father's village, anytime or you integrate or accommodate or you copy, there are things that will happen to you. Number one, if you conformed, you will not know the will of God concerning your life. Come out for your people. How many people will tell you to come out and listen to me? Because if you come out, you listen to God. If you don't come out, you will not hear from God. How many people are willing to come out? I say come out of your father's house. What I'm saying now, come out from your mindset that was in your father's people. To know the difference. You cannot fit into the, this village for God to accept you. The Bible says we are in the world, but we are out of the world. You cannot, be out, uh, you cannot be out of the world and fit into the world. We cannot force ourselves to be like the world. You cannot think and behave like the world. And anytime you behave like them, God's kingdom cannot accept you. You cannot have every good thing of life that God prepared for you. You will make wrong choices. There's a perfect will of God. There's a permissive will of God. Come out of your village, people. It means come out of the system mindset that's among your village, tradition of your parents. Come out of your country. It means leave what tradition patterns and country do. Leave what their country men, what they do. You are not on that nation. When you integrate into this world, you will be in permissive will of God. Permissive means doing what you want. Because what you want is what will kill you and destroy you. You know, when you are permissive will of God, God will allow you to do what you like. You carry so many women, you lie a lot, you do things to make money, you have pleasure in life. Nothing to you. You won't see which press you. They will attack you. You won't see bad dream. Because but you know that the end is, there's consequences of what you're doing. There are consequences of emulating other people. Consequences that are walking in darkness. Consequences of follow bad friends. So many of them say right now, you see that they're sacrificing them. You follow friends. You're born again, you follow friends. You don't even pray. You don't even, you don't even ask where are you going to. They don't promise you that we'll give you money, we'll give you this, we'll give you that. You follow them like a goat and they slaughter you for ceremony. There are things that happen today. They say, is there no God? There's no God where you are because God's eyes is not on the world. God's eyes are on the children. God watch over his children. God doesn't watch the world. The world have mercy of God. God has mercy of God. But the children walk in covenant. If you are a child of God, you walk in covenant. Maintain your covenant. Walk in the covenant. Stay in the covenant so that the blessing of the covenant will reach you. Many people have dropped their prayer life. Their prayer life is dead. They don't even understand anymore. They say everything is normal. Your prayer life is normal. Your reading Bible is normal. You are going to church is normal. Some of them now will wait. Now you know some of them will wait. Maybe I'm coming by eleven to eleven thousand to one o'clock. So they will do all sorts of things and come back. He, he talked to you. I'm talking to me. He's talking to God Almighty. That's the whole world did it. Now people want you to do service for one hour. The whole world life. You spend your life with friends. 
You spend your life in your office. You spend all your life, but you are running from God that give you life. If God not tap you this morning, you're not going to wake up. All those plans you are planning in life, all those where you want to go, if God not give you life, you're not going to get there. Let, it, let your mind open to know that this world is governed by God. The spirit, you are using the spirit of God. I want to be in America. I want to be in London. I want to be this. But the owner of the earth says, you are living this night. You are living this night. The world does not have their stumbling darkness. I just say a young man woke up now and pregnant almost five ladies. Last two weeks, a young, a young girl called me. He had a problem with his, her boyfriend. She has a, she's a virgin and was keeping the virgin for a new husband that will come. And he met one stupid, the king of this world. The son of the king of this world. And he told, he told, he, he told him, I said, please, uh, if you want to marry me, you want to have a relationship with me, can't you wait? After the bride price and wedding, I will present it to you as a caller. The guy said, no problem. Ah, no problem, I'll wait. And he came and did the introduction to our father's house. And that night, we forced him and bring the caller. The next day, the guy doesn't talk to her again. And he was crying, crying, and he called me. And it was the guy, I called the man. I said, why do you do this? He said, Saint Pastor. What did the man call me? He said, Saint Pastor. <laughs> Can you swear for me that you already, you never deceive any woman? Uh, I, I have the same color like where I have it. Uh, you know, you know you, most of you, those people are very saucy. You know that. Can you swear to me that the, the reason why you run to the pastor because all the things where you did before was pursuing you, that's why you run to the Bible. But as I hear your voice now, you are still a gay man. He said, can I ask you a question too, pastor? Why is it that this person who called you to call me is crying for virginity? I have broken 16 virginity. This is 16 what? And all of them were so happy because I opened the door for them to go and find their destiny. <laughs> He said, they're happy. I broke it. What, I do? what is inside virginity? The lady says, I heard the voice lady say, I will deal with you. you uh, he said, Akoko. When you're telling them, believe I will deal with you, I will kill you. The system of the world, they're already in darkness. Everything Satan constituted, every system, lifestyle of the world is only not for Satan. Not for your children. It's planning it for you. You are in Christ. The world already have their system. Just like a worldly music. If you bring a worldly music to the church, church will dance it. Imagine like you go to a club now. They are, they are dancing like the video. The video music. And you know, as they are dancing, you just put on music. Just all that way, that you shall not die. Whosoever come to this shall never die. What will happen there? They will sit down, they will walk away. Because it's not the system. But if you bring it to the church here, yeah, you go see people rejoice and that's it in the church. Because it's not them they're looking for, they're looking for you. Satan has constituted the kingdom, pattern it, and they, they love it. And they are using it to entice you. Everything I come to you is to entice you. Satan doesn't have willpower. He doesn't, it's not forceful against you. But what it do is that it presents what is your spirit. And you receive it with all your heart. Just as an example. You slept with a lady. He says, he asked you a question. He said, the work of Satan. If Satan gave you phone, is Satan recharge the card for you? All the words you spoke to the girl, is Satan not told you what to speak? How you were talking, it's not, it's a series of packaging for the girl to yield to your voice. Is, is this Satan? How you invited the lady to your house, is this Satan? How the day the guy is coming, you even cook and put the best food in your house, you put perfumes all over your house. You put a dim light that will go with romantic in your house. You put a soft music that will respond to your romantic. 
Is this Satan is doing this for you? Even when you are bringing the words that connect to the emotion that put the, the spirit together, is this Satan? Oh my God, I'm about to go to someone, someone else. When you start moving your hand like a blind man, I move your hand to a body, is this Satan? When you are removing your bed, you remove your trousers, pull yourself, is this Satan? When you are removing the lady, even the soft touch of the system of the lady that activates her, who show you? <laughs> who show you that this is the weak point of where you move it, the music will start playing? Is this Satan? <laughs> After you finish, Satan said, well done, my son. <laughs> you are doing a good job. And you come back, you do it to see the people who say that Satan did this. It's a series of drama. Okay. It's already there in your system. That's the system of the world. When a person lives in the world, you don't have a boyfriend. They just say, how can you, you, you're a Jew guy. How can you stay without having a boyfriend? How can you have, you not have a girlfriend? That's why when you go to hospital, doctor will tell you that. This is why, um, what do they call it? This um, prostate is coming to you. You need to have more sex. You must have at least three sex in a week. You don't know that that's the force of the devil. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. If anybody will live in life, you must live the world. We are in the world, but the life of the world should not be in you. The way they go to Facebook and go and dance and be naked, you must not supposed to be there. You must be straight in business oriented. You must know your path. You must know where God kept you. You must not move in your horizon. You, God has drawn a boundary between you and the world. And you have to be a different person. Because if you transform to this world, everything you know is about the world, but you don't know anything about the Bible. You don't know who the passage of the Bible that will ever to console you when you are down. You don't know the power, the word of God that will use you to confront the enemy that will bow down before you. You don't know. You can tell you that all the musicians are millions they are making, all the footballers they are millions they are making. Because your heart, that's where it is. I pray that God will say somebody in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you go through the permissive way, there's a judgment. Perfect will of God is what God intended for you. For you to know the mind of God concerning our assignment, destiny, mission on earth, you must stop conforming to our tradition. We are not from that village, that nation. You are from another nation. God is completely separating Abraham. And when, when Abraham left, you see the result. Because the system where Abraham was coming from, the father was 75 years before he became a youth. Abraham was 75 years before even you know, to know about his assignment. So when you conform, your years of life will be wasted. You, you know, you know that's not a lock up gates, gates of everything gates in life. He don't give you a little, little, little blessing. You know, you know I, I don't been in the war before. If you be a man sleeping with different women, there's something that will happen. Everywhere blockage. Blockage in the house of God, blockage in the outside of the world. Because a woman is a spirit. Women are gate between the spiritual world and the physical world, if you don't know. The woman, woman you are seeing today is an utter. And that is why any time when you lie down on a woman, you are, you are pulling a liberation. Yeah, it's a liberation. Your point of liberation, you are submitted to a power. That's why if you are not submit to the right spirit, you already submit to the kingdom. Every sex is a covenant. And that covenant is a service to a God. And what God you serve? If you sleep with eight women all your life, you have already service eight others. That is why life will be in confusion. When eight others are working against you, you are already... Services eight authors. So, me say the love of God is on you because already you are not even serving God because your author of God is dormant. You cannot serve eight authors and still be alive and serve the author of God. No. That is why you see that if you go to unbelievers, all of them, your destiny cannot work. The business you do to survive cannot be a straight one, it can never be a clean one because you cannot be in the world. You do a genuine business and succeed. You always do cooking business, hire killers, all the petty, petty businesses, all of them. 
the originality of you, the thing where you mention the earth when you're coming to the earth, I'll be seized. Because there's no light to activate them. You are in the world. Darkness is already covering you. You cannot even see your way out. What they do in the world, they thought it's a life. They call them gaman. They thought they're doing the right thing. But they don't say they are stuck in darkness. That is why people in the church today, when you are coming to the church, you should do what you do. People could wonder, are you hearing the word of God? Is this word of God, is it entering you? It's not by what you say, by the word of God, is it sitting in you? Is the word of God touching your heart at all? Touching your mind, transforming your mind to renew? Because if you store in darkness, your family is in darkness. Your family is in darkness. Just say you are an unbeliever. I say, I will not do this. I have a part time in my family. I have a part time. I will not behave like my father. But you're already on the line. You're already on the line. Because every choice you choose, you thought it's a good. But after five years, six years, you will see, you'll see yourself. That's why I say that most of them are crying their marriages. You are reporting to me. Who are we reporting? Because can get because. Who are Ototo? You are crying. That's a choice you made many years ago. You made a choice many, many years ago. That's where I'm suffering. Because already you, do, you are doing it the way the world is doing it. Satan will give you what is in the system. You can never be happy. When you are in the world, every choice in your life will come back to snare you. You will be a snare to it. Because the wages of sin is death. Death of destiny. Death on relationship. Death in worship. Death in communication. You will no longer hear from God anymore. You will be living by sight. Assumption. Whether this one will work. Well, we're walking by the principle of the earth. That is why when you are stealing now, they call you a man. When you are killing people now, they call you a strong man. Everything in this system are transformed to heal them because they are doing it as the children of the world. Everywhere you go, nobody loves you because already you are out of the world. How would the world love you when you are not with them? Anytime the world is loving you, praising you, the love of God is gone out of your life. You don't have God anymore in your life. If I come here, people will like me. That's why in the church I'm preaching to you now. I bless your tradition. You won't like me. I will like me. Jeremiah preached message for many years. Nobody, you want only one soul because it's not connected to their tradition. Tradition you obey today, you obey today does not bless you. I came from a family that already nothing worked in that family. Great stars. They have opportunity to work with great people in life, but nothing come out of it. How can I not study my bloodline? I cannot study my bloodline to see what is killing them in my bloodline. I cannot study my father's lineage to know what is killing them in my lineage. What is, what, is, what is transformation? Transformation is that you see the bad side of life and do the opposite. How can I begin to pray in my prayer? I don't want to do what they do in my family, but yet my lifestyle is coming in a modern way. That are in line with what they, what they did. The written laws, if you don't know. Abraham totally left the family mindset and changed. He totally left all those things they do in his father's house and he break delay in his, in his family. The problem here is that we are in church, but we are still conforming to the traditions. There are so many things that God hates. We have brought them into the church. We have attracted our tradition to the church. So many believers believe that God is in, in their side. And says, and say on behalf of God that God is in their side. But the problem is that, have you asked yourself, are you feeling God in your life? Are you feeling God what you do? Because when you invest 10 million in your business, after six months, you got nothing. That to show you there's no revival. No transformation in your business. Because it is God Almighty will give you power to make wealth. You cannot generate wealth. You cannot have fulfillment in life. You cannot have peace in life because wealth is no God. The world does not have peace because already the God of peace is not there. If you have God, what you enjoy on this earth is peace. So many people that are looking for money. So many people want to be a multimillionaire. So that they made money. I want to let you know, I have, have, have the opportunity to meet great people in life. But I find out they are not happy. The own house, I've been in Abuja, I came to somebody's house. Uh, better follow me. So what house, 
own. Let's just jeep. Let us more than like eight. So many cars. The cars in that company is like a 30. Even they put a fan. It was five million dollars. But I entered inside the house. It's not, she's not happy. This man is not happy. Because God of peace is not there. It, have you seen somebody that you have 100,000 in your accounts, but you are dancing, they scatter everywhere. You are not feeling about tomorrow. You are scattering everywhere, dancing, overwhelmed with the joy of this world. But you see somebody that he has like 50 billion in a, his account, but you see him staying like a, 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 a pure water, cold water, like a refrigerator. somebody they put in a refrigerator. No happiness, no fulfillment. Because money doesn't give fulfillment. I want to tell you something. Money you're pursuing, chasing about all of that. The demons in the power, they have mastered the art of money. That is why the witch doesn't fly to bank. Marine power doesn't go to bank. All country doesn't go to bank. Because already, they know that source is more lucrative than money. The wealth of this money fade away. Once you give your right breath, you are not taking those things away. Those things are just temporary. How many years have you lived in now? How many years have you been now? How many years are remaining to you to go all that? Father, if now you are 50 years, 60 years, you go and get yourself, maybe one year remaining for you to go. Just, that's a waste. You are killing human beings, killing everybody because you want to be praised, you want to be known. Love of this world is an enemy of God. Tell somebody say, love of this world is an enemy of God. I don't hear somebody say it. Say it again, let me hear you. Say it again, let me hear you. If you believe in Christ, say, this sign shall follow them that believe. That's the power. He give you power. Hmm? The more spirit are very intelligent. They are more intelligent than mortals. When you're born again, your level of understanding is upgraded. You come out to the mind of Christ. The spirit is very intelligent because they have records of ancestors. They have record of behaviors, spiritual patterns of your family. They want to transform you to the same system so that they can work on you. If you are not transformed to this world, Satan has no power over you. If you are not transformed to this world, working the system of this world, Satan will have no You will become a threat to Satan. You become a threat to the enemies. You become a threat. You look at you now. You are praying one prayer point for over three years. You know my answer. Is God dead? Is it dumb God? Most of prayer will pray here. Pray here. Before I go outside there, I will see my own result. Many people will tell me their own result. But why is it that God is not hearing you? There's something in you that separates God from you. Check that in. Tell somebody, say, check that in. There's something in you that separates you and God. No, tell three people, say, there's something in you that separates you and God. God said, return, I will return. If you return back, I will return. Is he waiting for you when you left him? The place where you left God is he waiting for you. Because you already be confused by this or this world. And you know, when you enter the earth, the earth, this world, Satan will load you with so many problems. You just see like this, you have small hair, but the load you are carrying is bigger than your head. He give you family problem. He give you village problem. He give you your mother's problem. He give you children's problem. He give you marital problem. He give you career problem. He give you job problem. Only you. You feel don't survive it. He said, my yoke is light. My yoke is light. If you follow him, my yoke is light. He said, the, the reason why I give that yoke is for you to learn and understand and discover yourself. And after that, you remove the yoke for you. Because there's some yoke coming for your life. God, God, God pattern it to be a, a, a place of promotion for you. For you to accelerate in life. He said, my yoke is light. Have you seen the people today who walk all them, train all the brothers, train all the sisters, build mansions on them, but they don't, they, their family, what they pay him for is just, they take away his life. That's a reward. I've seen when I help somebody like this and they wish you come to attack me. And I comforted the person. He says, I want to say you thank you. Yes, that's, that's, that's how they hurt. That's the language of the world. We travel to Dubai. All of us travel to Dubai. Carry me now them. Put them in a better place on them. Pay for yachts. Pay for everything. Pay for yachts in the in, in a, in a, in a, in a buffets and a dinner for all of them. 
to celebrate all that, to be happy so that they can do the work of God. We went there, all the whole three pastors there told me the president immediately. And where? The people will follow us. Most of the lady that follow us there went to the president. I, when, they, I, when they told me that somebody, something pressed them here, I went to inside the room. They were going out. I said, I would just lock myself up. I must find out who did this. And after I um, stayed for a little while, I came down and said, God, I said, look less. I went to meet the person. I said, why do you do this? He said, I'm just trying to tell them thank you. <laughs> I want to let you know, appreciation in the world is wickedness. Anytime somebody in this world wants to appreciate you, you show you wickedness. That's, what, that's the language you understand on the earth. Appreciation is kindness in the kingdom of God. But appreciation in the kingdom of Satan is wickedness. That is why you ask somebody, say, all I did for you, is it how you will pay me? That is the language. I did this for you, I did that for you, I did this for you. Let me tell you something. If you are in the world, you are blessing somebody's life, and you're expecting good to come. In the kingdom of Satan, they don't say it's good. Because the root where it's coming from, all she has learned, all in her spirit, all in her bloodline, is wickedness. So when you marry somebody, he, 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 he make you crippled, he make you blind, he make you lost all your possession in life. He's telling you, thank you for marrying to me. Just thank you. You see your friend, when he speaks evil against you, he disconnects you from your friends, all of them. He thank you to be a part of it, her life or his life. Because the system, you won't like what is there. Because you like to learn, train. In the world, if you go and tell people that God is blessing you, you show them evidence of what God is doing for your life. They will, may use that to pay you. Or may use something that will make sure you're bitter. Bitterness is happiness in the spirit. Bitterness in this world is happiness. Bitterness in this world is, is kind of celebration. I pray that God will deliver somebody here in the Jesus. Shout a big hallelujah somebody here. This world, if you are operate in this world, that family will not enter because they are homo warriors. They drink blood, they eat human beings. If you enter, they will not come and they will bind you, they tie you. Tying you is to thank you for being a part of this family. Say, look at this righteous man, see the end. Look at this wicked man, see how he came. 